You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you by MocktailsMixOff.com. How you doing, Dan? I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> We were talking about planning a festival here. I, I mean, seriously, I'm just going to come clean here because, you know, I'm old enough where it just doesn't matter. Any other guys binge watching the Hallmark Channel these days? I'm sure there are some. Because if it's just me, I can live with that. I'm just. I'm you're pretty not sure. I'm, I'm pretty about, sure you're the minority. Spring, I may need a support group. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's the only safe place to go right now. <laughs> so what do we have going on, Dan? It's pretty great. <laughs> James Naismith has a birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. John, you should be pretty familiar with him. He basically invented the game of basketball. Did he really? Mm-hmm. And nice. I, I love how, how it planned. He did. He wrote the rules, everything he else. was one of the monkeys. <laughs> no, uh, well, that would have been his son, Michael. Uh, literally, when basketball started out, it was called basketball because they oh, an tied basket. a, a basket up onto a pole. And this is so great because only guys actually operate like this. Yeah. Every time a basket was made, someone had to take the ladder, climb up, and get the ball out. Yeah. It would be quite a while before a guy actually went, why don't we just cut the bottom out of that? <laughs> it was probably his wife's idea. <laughs> and I was thinking about this, and I was actually laughing. I went, wait a minute, because I'm, I'm an ex-hockey jock. Yeah. And for years growing up playing hockey, you did not have to wear a helmet. You had to wear a cup, because that was important. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to protect your brain. Those were guys. <laughs> Should be wearing a helmet? Why? Why would I need that? Oh, it's just hilarious. We are pathetic as, as just a group of people. But in the best possible way. Uh, Emma Stone, award-winning actress, is 32 today. I nice. loved her in a little film called Easy A. Oh, yeah, that was good. Great movie. Yeah, it was very good. Uh, Sally Field, been around a long time. Gidget, Flying Nun, Smokey and the Bandit, of course. And, Smokey and uh, the Bandit. Forrest Gump as uh, the mom. She's 74 today. Yeah. Was 1860 this day? You know him, you love him. Abraham Lincoln elected 16. Nice. 16th president of the uh, United States of America. Nice. Uh, which was, it was squeaker. They had to wait weeks to see uh, which way Pennsylvania was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, some things never change. <laughs> 1928, Colonel Jacob Schick patents the very first electric razor. Really? Yup. Nice. And it was 1947, NBC's Meet the Press debuts. That is now the longest running TV show in U.S. history. Very wow. cool. You ever think uh, if somebody's like watching Meet the Press while they're making hamburger patties, they're watching Meet the Press while they're pressing the meat? Oh, wow. Huh? Huh? You were, no, I've no, never no, once thought nobody of else? that. Nobody else? No. I'll just be quiet. Wow, John. <laughs> Holy cow. We should just turn off his mic. Man. <laughs> Is it Friday yet? Can I go home? Holy cow. Uh, All right. We done? I think we're done. Oh, we're done. Yeah. yeah, I found that whole thing absolutely fascinating. So. Thanks for listening to sure. the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. It's brought to you right now by MocktailsMixoff.com. Want to save money? Take the BetterCreditCards.com challenge. It's simple and free, and you could save money every single month. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm roof tough and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. And a snappy salute off the well starch brim of the old Ranger Dan cap to you two little lubby dubbies. You, Kenny, you're looking Heidi. Ranger Dan. <laughs> oh, somebody hand me a shovel because I'm digging you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, little Radio Rangers, you know, let's uh, let's just be upfront about it. It's been kind of a stressful week all the way around, and things going on, election madness, and people going crazy, dogs sleeping with cats, it's just been crazy. So I thought, you know what, 
whenever things get a little stressy, I like to dig into the old bucket of what's become a well, a double platinum best selling album. My album. Oh yeah. Comedy album, Ranger Dan Quacks You Up. Oh yeah, this is they're all talking uh, about it on the internet. Recorded back in January during an open mic night at Cheetah's Bar and off sale liquors in beautiful Sisset in South Dakota. So nice. a couple little little comedic nuggets for you. Let's see here. Why did the lion break up with his girlfriend? Why? Because she was a cheetah. Cheetah. That's it, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what did the buffalo say to his son when he left for uh, college? What's that? <laughs> Bye, son. <laughs> Bye. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am oozing with comedic skills this morning. You know, had an angry fellow tell me a while back that my dog chased him on his bicycle and bit him. I said, that's bull squat, mister. My dog can't even ride a bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Hey, that's all the time we have today, little Radio Rangers. I hope that is a bright spot. Otherwise, oh, well, yeah. dark and dingy existence. Till next time, this is Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Do you need car insurance? Well, of course. Everyone needs car insurance if you want to drive your car. You probably already have insurance somewhere. But is it the right insurance for you? Our friends at insurancechicken.com make it pretty easy. They have several big-name insurance companies you've heard of, all in one place, to help you find the most affordable insurance that covers all of your needs. It's a great idea, but not such a great name. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, I don't get it either. Check it out today and see if they can help you at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you right now by mocktailsmixoff.com. And, uh, Mocktails. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm in the mood. Got to give something away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Kind of a big deal. Good friends Eileen and the crew at Southeast uh, Hair Design. Ponies up $20 gift cards, which is very, very nice. And speaking of gift cards, right now, <laughs> right now, because we're, we're bailing into the holidays, here we go, to make it a little less stress-free, you get somebody the gift of peace and relaxation. Nice. Take a $100 gift card from Southeastern Hair Design. For a $100 gift card, we're going to tack on for 2020 an additional $20.20 okay. to the value of that card for nothing. Ah. Uh- yeah, so 2020 rolling for just a hondo. Right? Okay, sure. That's that's a pretty sweet offer. I like that a lot. And you can actually snag those online too. That's okay. awesome. So there you go, Southeast. That's Airbnb. fantastic. And winner of this week's twenty dollar uh, gift card is uh, Lynette Schroeder. Yeah, Schroeder. Oh, Schroeder. Good. Come on down. Sweet. We'll get that the mail uh, to Lynette, and she can go. Relax, renew, and refresh at Southeastern Hair Design and Day Spa, now at the corner of 28th and Minnesota. What else is going on here? You know, November, of course, Thanksgiving. Right. But, you know, a very, very big deal to us, near, near and dear to uh, everybody, the cast and crew at Sunny 93.3. Uh, Veterans Day is coming up. Yes. The, yeah. the entire month of November, in case you don't know, is also Military Family Appreciation Love Month. Love it. And so what you're going to hear, up now, a lot of businesses, which is fine, you know, they will take that and offer something military for a week, a day or two, whatever the case may be. So we work with uh, Car Swap. Yes. Bring own vehicles here in Sioux Falls. Love these guys. We've got a military bonus, not just for this month, not just for Veterans Day, but every day of the year. Right. Yeah, that's, that's really That's how cool. they roll. If you're yep. not familiar with Car Swap, you're in the market for a primo, fresh-picked, pre-owned vehicle, uh, dial them up and look at their reviews. Their reviews are phenomenal. Stellar. Absolutely. They're they good people. stellar. You'll find them on West 12th, East 10th, and also at CarSwapUSA.com. Speaking of the veterans thing, yeah. South Dakota, way to go. There's an organization. They survey all kinds of things. They are called Smart Asset. Oh, yeah. I've heard of them have considered a number of different factors to determine which states do the best job supporting veterans. And South Dakota is one of the best of the best. Good. South Dakota's I case. I love that. According to Smart Asset, gathering the data, we provide the most veteran administration health facilities per 100,000 veterans in any state in the union. Wow. Uh, Rushmore State also has the third lowest housing cost as a percentage of income for veterans among the top 10 states, as well as the fifth highest percentage of veteran-owned businesses in the nation. 
Wow. South Dakota also gets huge high marks for being one of 30 states that do not tax military pensions. Love that. That is very cool. All of that is very, yeah. very, very yeah, And the list cool. goes on and on why South Dakota ranks way up there in almost all these categories for uh, for veterans. Yeah, we're big fans. In fact, we were at number <clears throat> one when they compile all the data, followed by Wyoming, North Dakota, West Virginia, Maine, Alaska, Nebraska, New Hampshire, Montana, and Hawaii. But we number one. Baby. That is awesome. There we go. That's fantastic. That's a good thing to be number one at as well. It's a really, really good thing. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, found that, being that this uh, this is a month given over that kind of thing. So yeah. nice job, Love everybody that. involved. Way to man. go. I agree completely. Yeah, and that's it. Well, very cool. Dan, thanks for that update, sir. Yeah, hey, pleasure doing it. And we've got uh, a lot of fun stuff to get to here. We've got some entertainment news. Before you know it, i got a little uh, update here with some uh, some good news to get to. And I want to remind you, the Mocktails Mix-Off. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about that quite a bit here because you got a chance to win 1000 bucks. All the details at MocktailsMixOff.com. Want to save money? Take the BetterCreditCards.com challenge. It's simple and free, and you could save money every single month. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it can help you get a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for your bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. And we uh, would love to invite you to be a part of this. This is going to brighten somebody's day. A thousand bucks. The way this is set up this year is uh, it's going to be quite a show. Yes. Here's a cool thing. This is the sixth annual Mocktails Mix-Off. I've been a part of all six. And the first one was really cool. Uh, it was down by the falls. That was really neat. But it was squeezed into a room that we, we didn't have any room. Then the, the next four years, we were at Cafe on Louise Avenue. And I love those guys. They are so wonderful. And they opened their doors to us. They let us come hang out. And, and again, the space wasn't a big space. So we had to kind of have people come and go and, you know, come in, do your thing, get, get out of here because we need room for others. This year, huge thank you to the people at the South Dakota Military Heritage Alliance building. It's on uh, Russell Street, 1600 West Russell. That's where the event will be. The build-out the, the folks have, have done on that place oh, in the past uh, yeah. year, year and a half has been incredible. And, you know, the building sat vacant for a little while, and it is now, I think, exactly what God destined this building to be. It's, it's designed for the, the military and, and, and uh, veterans, and it's just a beautiful place. And this event... Is going to fit in there like a hand in a glove. I mean, it's just going to be perfect. We've got a, a nice big stage, so we decided, hey, if we got a stage, maybe we should have like a band. What do you think? Not just any band. Yeah, the Redemption, Redemption Road, Road Band. There you go. And these guys are really, really good, and uh, it fits perfectly with the mission of what we're doing to I have may, them uh, there. I may sit in with them. Hey, that would be cool. That would be fun. Just, just well, yeah. Redemption Road Band is being sponsored by the South Dakota Office of Highway Safety. I want to say a huge thank you to them because it, it's going to add so much to have this band on the stage during the event. And uh, also that night, uh, we're giving away $1,000. That's courtesy of South Dakota EMS for Children. That's going to add a lot to the night as well because that's how we get our our, uh, folks to compete. Now, if you would like to compete and be a part of this, now is your chance to do it. You go to the website, mocktailsmixoff.com. And if you forget that, I have a link to it right at our page, sunnyradio.com. I've been blasting it out on our Facebook page. I guarantee if you click on our Facebook page, you'll find it somewhere. Uh, but again, it's Mocktails Mix Off. And the reason I'm making a big deal of it right now, you have just a little over a week to get your recipe submitted. So the recipes need to be submitted by Friday the 13th. That's next Friday. So it's like a week from now to get your recipe submitted. And the reason we have you do that, even though the event is until December, we have to go through and select the top 10 qualifiers. We reach out to each one of these qualifiers and say, uh, hey, can you be at the event? Because we need 10 people who can actually be there. Right. And then that's how we uh, we choose the, the folks that are going to be there. And then you compete with against nine other teams. Right. And... The cool thing is you come up with a fun name for your drink. A mocktail is a cocktail with no booze. So it's right. a it's a it's it's an alcohol-free drink. Uh, but you come up with a fun name, and then you put in the in the registration what's in that drink, and then we select 10 people that way. And I got to say, when I say we, I don't. I'm glad I don't have to be a part of that. 
it would be so hard picking this person over that person. Uh, but you be, be creative with the name, be creative with the, with the way you, you set it up, and it's just a ton of fun. And it's a chance to win a thousand bucks. Heidi, right? could you use a thousand bucks? I could always use a thousand bucks. Dan, could you use a thousand bucks? Oh, I would just give it a charity, John. <laughs> you probably would. Who's charity? <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you like to know? <laughs> And charity ain't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been we've been talking about different ideas. Heidi has an idea for a drink. She wants to do the twenty twenty dumpster fire. Don't give away my ideas. Oh, okay. Well, I, I won't give. I won't say any more then. But we we uh, we think that there are a lot of fun ideas, and I would love for one of our listeners to win this. It's open to anybody. But the reason I'm making a big deal of it, I want you to win a thousand bucks. Go there now. Website once again, mocktailsmixoff.com. Again, I have a link at sunnyradio.com as well. And I want to say thank you to Keystone Treatment Center. They're actually sponsoring our coverage of this event that night. We're going to be there broadcasting, having some fun, courtesy of Keystone Treatment Center. So thanks to everybody involved. Again, learn more right now and register to win a thousand bucks with your recipe at mocktailsmixoff.com. Do you need car insurance? Well, of course, everyone needs car insurance if you want to drive your car. You probably already have insurance somewhere. But is it the right insurance for you? Our friends at insurancechicken.com make it pretty easy. They have several big-name insurance companies you've heard of all in one place to help you find the most affordable insurance that covers all of your needs. It's a great idea, but not such a great name. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, I don't get it either. Check it out today and see if they can help you at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. And it's time right now for a little bit of entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Yes, celebrities. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Ah, this was kind of fun. It's not necessarily about celebrities. It's about like the most covered songs hmm. in the history of songs. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's and by cool. cover, it means it was recorded Redone. produced yeah, by right. somebody else and released doesn't mean it was a hit or anything sure. else just but, been recorded a lot and boy does this thing stack up in the favor of one group in particular holy cow the beatles yeah number 10 is norwegian wood by the beatles that has been recorded produced released 206 times wow, wow. that's a lot by various groups and artists uh john lennon's imagine at number nine i like that song 218 times that's been covered here, there, and everywhere at number eight by the Beatles, yeah. two hundred twenty-five times. Jeez, Everybody following this theme so far. Number seven, Blackbird, the Beatles. Okay, yeah. two hundred and thirty-two times. Wow. And this, I love that this one made the list at number six. One of the most, the number six most covered song ever. Is- uh, Summertime. From uh, Porgy and Bess. Yeah. It was produced back in the 1930s. I love that song. But did the Beatles do a copy? Uh, no, original <laughs> uh, recording by Helen Jepsen. That oh. song has been covered 243 times. Nice. And we're back to the Beatles at number five, Michelle, My Bell. These are words that go together well. Mm-hmm. 243 times. At number four, Little Thing Written by Mr. John Freeman Young, Silent Night. I was going to say, we got to be getting uh, to Christmas yeah. songs pretty soon. I think one of the most beautiful songs Love ever that written. Song. That has we, been covered 254 yeah. times. 255, because uh, we, we sing it too. Oh, that's <laughs> right. You guys did a cover of that. Did a cover of that. <laughs> and at number three, And I Love Her by The Beatles, mm-hmm. 263 times. Eleanor Rigby at number two, The Beatles, 349 <laughs> times. Really? Yeah. And at number one, and this does not surprise me, uh, yesterday, The Beatles. So The Beatles have all but two of the top ten most recorded Pretty songs. much. Wow. Most covered songs in, in Heidi's the got history. their whole collection. <laughs> uh, yesterday, by the way, has been covered uh, 422 wow. times by various groups and artists. Huh. Isn't that That's amazing? That's really cool. You know what? I think The Beatles deserve a round of applause. Way to go, I Notice Beatles. Heidi is not clapping. <laughs> <laughs> not Ladies, a fan. Not a fan. for everybody there's no you know there's a number of people who really aren't into them but i mean it's just the gift that keeps on giving it and is one yeah. of my greatest little interactions uh with my son luke uh he was 11 or 12 years old driving on a country road up north somewhere and he's 11 12 yeah hey dad yes son you ever heard of a group called the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> and i said well i may have a familiar passing with them yes why do you ask well me and my friends like found the Beatles like and man we're listening to a lot of but to them is brand new yeah it's like right. they right. it's brand new. we had no you know, idea of the history really when that uh what was that show glee when glee came out because like glee they were re-singing a bunch of songs from the 80s 
there's a ton of different 80s songs that they did on there. And uh, we would have young people who watched that show that would call the radio station and request like the real versions of them because they wanted new to them. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, hey, my mom said you guys play this. And I'm like, I heard it on Glee. Can you play the real one? Like yeah, I'll play the real one. Yeah. So I think it's cool when people do get uh, you know you know a chance to hear that. And yet uh, one song they didn't make the list, which surprises me: uh, "Highway Patrol" by Junior Brown, How probably the greatest make... song ever oh, oh. written. Zero covers. <laughs> what about uh, zero? <laughs> Just a friend by Biz Marquis. <laughs> hey, nobody can redo that and do it the justice that Biz Marquis <laughs> is did. Is probably the Morgan second greatest song ever written. <laughs> I would happen to agree with that. <laughs> you two are. He's a wordsmith. There you guys. <laughs> done <laughs> thanks dan thanks for coming in man oh yeah my pleasure absolutely thanks for having me man total honor. glad to have you it's the john and heidi show bonus hour with dan ferris and it's brought to you right now by mocktails mixoff.com your chance to win a thousand bucks right now mocktails mixoff.com want to save money take the better credit cards.com challenge it's simple and free and you could save money every single month take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks then go to bettercreditcards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card this will literally cost you nothing and it could help you get a better credit card do it today bettercreditcards.com that's bettercreditcards.com Here's your Market Beat Minute for Friday, November 6th, 2020. The broad S&P 500 index advanced another 2% on Thursday, bringing the rally to four days. The move is seemingly inexplicable with so much uncertainty in the air, but it may come down to one thing. Where the market is concerned, a Biden victory and a Republican Senate is the best case scenario for the economy. With this outcome, it's all but assured there'll be no major changes in the federal level until after the midterm election cycle at least. In other news, the FOMC decided to hold interest unchanged and made no move to alter existing stimulus efforts. Fed Chief Jerome Powell says the economy is rebounding, but still well below pre-COVID levels. He says the committee is closely watching the data and prepared to act if needed. In his words, the Fed is not out of ammunition yet. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.